if you're a more newer view viewer to my channel and you haven't been around for a while and I've, as I've been creating content and whatnot, there's been a channel and a series that I'd like to do on this video that I actually took inspiration from in a way from my friend Geo, aka Lego Rocks 99 on YouTube where he does these videos where he just talks about prospects and whatnot and they're called Let's Talks kind of and that's kind of what I like to do sometimes on my channel when it comes to talking about certain players and just things that I'd like to see from a fan perspective and this is just a completely from a fan perspective and I'm not even mad at Paul Maurice so I'm not mad at the organization this is just me as a fan being curious wanting to see you know more customization with the roster and just more flexibility and also seeing younger guys get opportunities and be rewarded for very very good play and in this video we're going to be talking about Winnipeg that last year's first round draft pick by the Winnipeg Jets 10th overall Cole Perfetti and how he has been absolutely killing it in a league that he shouldn't even be playing it in and why I think that the Winnipeg Jets before the end of the season should give him a look and give him a couple games just as a reward for being so good with the moose and just being such a great having a great season as such a young guy in a really you know hard league to jump from because it is really a big tough league when you look at the jump you make from the minors from the WHL from the OHL the Q where or even in the uh, European leagues if you're coming over from Liga or whatnot when you come over to the AHL it's a different game it's smaller ice it's faster it is a lot more physicality it's a man's league as some analysts like to call it compared to where the juniors are full of you know younger coming up kids who are still learning the game and finding their identities in hockey and Cole Perfetti this year has just been nothing but incredible when you look at his stats with the moose where he's played where he's been used and just how consistent he's been on every line he's played on throughout this season in the AHL with the moose and the only real reason this has even started to cross my mind is rewarding Cole Perfetti with a opportunity to play with the Jets this year, not as a full-time member, but just get a couple of games before the playoffs. Mostly has to do with the fact, considering that there have been so many other teams, so many other young, up-and-coming forward prospects that have been having incredible seasons in the minors, in the A, or wherever they've been playing, like Cole Perfetti has, that have been getting rewarded and playing with the teams. Guys like, if you look at Cole Caulfield, obviously Montreal is injured, but to see him come up and get rewarded for being incredible in the AHL and just having him being in a very good elite prospect, Prospect, it's nice to see guys get rewarded, and I think that Cole Perfetti should get rewarded, kind of similar to what we saw with Villa Hinola. Obviously, last year with Villa Hinola getting his eight games and playing as amazing as he did, that was more of the fact that the Jets' defense was so weak and inconsistent that they didn't really have an identity. And Villa Hinola had impressed Paul Maurice in the training camp and in preseason, so he earned a shot to start the team with. And I think that that type of this situation should be applied with Cole Perfetti, if I'm the coaching staff at least. If I'm looking at Cole Perfetti coming in as a rookie to the AHL in 30 games played, putting up eight goals, 16 assists for 24 points and just being on an absolute tear this year not to mention the fact that in the under 20 championship league for world canada he was able to put up in seven games two goals four assists for six points obviously just playing out of his mind and being a very very good player the guy that we're all excited to see and keep in mind he is 19 years old currently putting up 60 uh, 24 points in 30 games in the ahl and that's pretty incredible when you look at the goals and where he's been scoring them from and the type of goals and plays that he's been setting up and creating he has just been an absolute beast on the moose he's been a catalyst on the power play He's been a catalyst in the top six. He just keeps propelling everyone and making them better. And I think that he should be rewarded considering the fact that the Jets have right now a huge lack in their winger department in the fact that Nikolai Ehlers is out until the playoffs or at least the foreseeable future. We still don't know exactly when he's going to be coming back. The window is the playoffs, but that could change. Obviously, Paul Maurice has a history of under, you know, under demeaning injuries and saying that they're going to be back before they are. And obviously it being a lot worse than what he tells the media. He is notorious for that. So that's why I think it could be an interesting situation to see Cole Perfetti with the Jets and see how he could slot in potentially where Nikolai Ehlers plays because although Cole Perfetti is a center he's one of these up-and-coming young forwards that is very dynamic in the ability to play the center position extremely well be a natural center but also be able to go back and forth between both wings and be an effective winger as well especially for a team that is looking to have that dynamic spark in a top six that is exactly what Cole, Perfe Cole Perfetti provides and that's exactly what the Winnipeg Jets drafted in him and saw in him when they took him 10th overall last year in the first round in the 2020 NHL entry draft. And look at, for example, yesterday's loss against the Ottawa Senators. It was more importantly, I think, due to the fact that the Jets just seriously lack any type of creativity within their top six. It's a huge reason why they lost that game, and it's a huge reason why, just as in general, the Jets don't have, per se, the best play they get out of their forwards at time. And it's because of the fact that they're not creative, they're very basic, they do a lot of dump and chase, and Cole Perfetti isn't that type of player. So that's kind of another reason why I think that maybe giving him a look isn't such a bad thing. And it's not about giving 
giving him a full-time roster spot. Like I said, I'm not thinking that Paul Maurice is a dumbass for not using a guy that's 19 years old, years old that's been really good in the AHL, because that doesn't mean he, that he should automatically go to the NHL. Obviously, there's time development, and I get that. Even though I, I might disagree with some players sometimes, I understand that. And I don't think Cole Perfetti should have a full-time NHL job right now. I don't think that that's probably the best play for his development, because if he's already this good in the AHL after one year and a shortened season in 30 games, imagine we could do in an 82-game season for the Man for the Manitoba Moose. There's a lot of potential in his area to grow. There's a lot of potential for how much better he can get at that level. So let him continuously play at that level. That doesn't mean giving a guy a reward for playing so good at jumping into the NHL, making his debut, seeing how he fits, and addressing where he needs to get better at before he's ready to make that jump and be a consistent NHLer. That's not a bad thing. And I, I think that that should be something considered by the coaching staff, especially considering the fact that last night when you look at the Jets as a whole, in my opinion, they had so many flaws up front. That's one of the reasons why they lost this game. They played with not a lot of heart. I have any heart, if I could say that, and they just didn't have a good game overall. And Cole Perfetti, on the other hand, it makes the moose better in a lot of areas. He excels their play. He's a catalyst for them, like I said. And look at tonight, for example, yesterday's game, I should be saying, against the Marlies, where he was able to dominate and score goals and be consistent in the, uh, the, in the shootout and just be a great player for the moose. And he's a leader on that team at 19 years old. And that's insanely impressive to have a guy that was drafted 10th overall a year ago be officially an, uh, probably the, one of the best players on the Manitoba Moose. Obviously, you can question it to Nathan Todd if you're a fan of the Moose there, but for a young guy with star power, Paul Perfetti is as good as they're going to come. And I just feel like the Jets in this current slump could potentially use a burst of, you know, wildness and uncertainty within Cole Perfetti because that's something that every NHL team can use at times during a losing skid. And don't get yourselves wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said in my game recap, you're allowed to disagree with me, I don't care. But in my personal opinion... Almost that that entire game against Calgary has been wiped from my mind because the Jets resorted resorted back to their play on that seven game losing skid. In my opinion, this is just eight in uh, eight games in a row. It feels like that Calgary game was so different. It was night and day compared to this game. And you can obviously watch my game recap, which I will put on uh, tag it right now for you. But if you want to go back and hear my thoughts there, that's a place where you can do that. This video is about Cole Perfetti and why I think that giving him an opportunity isn't such a crazy idea. And some fans might be opposed to this, and that's fine. But don't don't get yourself confused with the fact that I don't think Perfetti should be a full-time member of the Jets, but Nikolai Ehlers is injured. Our top six is kind of uncertain. We've been changing it a lot. Appleton's been jumping in. Perot jumped in. Like, why not potentially bring up this prospect and give him a shot? You know, if you're not going to use Veselainen, if you're not going to have a if you're going to have a rotating carousel of young and veteran guys that have played in that role before, jumping in and out of the top six without Nikolai Ehlers for the remainder of the season, why not reward a young up-and-coming guy who's without a doubt probably the most skilled player on your AHL team? Or, for that matter, give Nathan Todd a look, right? Like, there's just a lot of different options that I think that the Jets don't do at times, and I don't think you have to burn your year off of EC, his ELC by doing this. Um, I just think that it's something that he should be given as an opportunity to just see how he could play at the NHL level because he's been doing so good in the A, and just to give him a reward for playing great hockey, and I think that's something that the Jets organization should think about doing, and I would very like to see it before the end of the season because I think it would just be really fun to see Cole Perfetti jump in. Um, the Jets fan base right now, if we get knocked out of the playoffs, we need something to hold on to, you know, going into these rounds that I'm not so confident about. And I think Cole Perfetti is a huge part of this team's future, along with Billy Hinola. So hopefully these guys are going to be around to stick around. And as more Billy Hinola time gets, you know, as he gets more ice time and plays more, hopefully we'll be able to see potentially Cole Perfetti as well go out and get some ice time with the Winnipeg Jets before the end of the 2019, 2020-2021 NHL season, excuse me. Now with all that being said, I'm going to end the video off here. Let me know all your thoughts about Cole Perfetti and whatnot. And if you think he should make the NHL for a little bit or how he's been doing on the moose or whatever your thoughts are about the kid let me know down in the comment section below as always if you're a fan of the winnipeg jets but more importantly a fan of hockey regardless of the team that you root for definitely consider dropping a subscription and helping push it toward that 1k subscriber goal it would be huge if you could help support this channel in any way and it's always greatly appreciated so thank you if you consider and enjoy the content and choose to subscribe to all my returning watchers out there thank you so much for checking out this video as always and all the continuous support it means a lot we just hit 900 subscribers recently so thank you guys for all of that and that means a lot 1k is so really close can't wait to hit that journey and been on this road with you guys for as long as I have. So with all that being said, I'm going to end the video off here. Make sure to turn on notifications if you haven't already. Follow all my socials down in the description below. Peace, love, and positivity as always, ladies and gentlemen. And I will see you in the next video. Go Jets go. Go Moose go. Let's go Jets. I don't know. Have a nice rest of your day and bye-bye.